Welcome to Prague, everybody. We're here in this beautiful city today to visit the church of St. Cyril and Methodius, the last refuge for Joseph Gabchik and Jan Kubisch, two Czech patriots who assassinated SS Chief Reinhard Heydrich. Heydrich, also called the Blonde Beast or the Hangman, was one of the architects of the Holocaust. He was in charge of the Nazi intelligence and police forces, where he organized the ghettoization of Polish Jews, directed the Einsatzgruppen's murder of a million Russian Jews, and led the Wannsee Conference where it was officially decided to exterminate Europe's Jewish population. In May 1942, Gabchik and Kubisch waited for Heydrich's 320 Mercedes convertible to round a bend on Holesavekic Street. What happened next went down in history. Although at first Gabchik and Kubisch thought they had failed, on June 4, 1942, Heydrich died from shrapnel embedded in his body from the grenade explosion. The two assassins, along with five other accomplices, found refuge at the St. Cyril and Methodius Church. But then they were betrayed by a fellow Czech to the SS, who dispatched more than 700 men to the church in an effort to capture them. I'm at the Church of St. Cyril in Prague, the Czech Republic. This is the church where the assassins of Ryder Heydrich hid out from the Nazis. Unfortunately, the Nazis found out where they were, and there was a huge firefight right here at this church. There's a lot of history here. Heydrich's assassins hid in the crypts, and the only thing they had for viewing the outside world was this window here. This is a memorial for the men who killed Reinhard Heydrich. The church itself is only open for masses. Nevertheless, we got a quick glimpse of the inside before heading to the crypt. We're now about to enter the crypt where the assassinations of Heydrich hid out. Come on, let's go. Upon entering, we're treated to a wonderful museum that gives us a detailed timeline of the Nazi occupation of Prague. It also goes into great detail of Heydrich's role as the governor and how he planned to exterminate the Czech people after the Jews of Europe had been killed off. If you love reading about the subject, you've come to the right place. They probably have every written book on Heydrich. They also have t-shirts of the assassins. The writing says, died that we may live. It then tells the story of Heydrich's assassination. During the standoff between the SS and the assassins, the Prague Fire Brigade poured water into the crypt through the window we just visited. The exhibit even shows us film footage of Heydrich's funeral held in Berlin. Heinrich Himmler gave the eulogy, and it was even attended by Adolf Hitler himself. The exhibit ends with the story of the town of Ledice that was chosen for collective punishment by the Nazis. Most of its inhabitants were murdered and the town was erased from the map. Rumors circulated the town was involved in helping the Czech resistance. And now we enter the crypt to see where it all happened. 
where inside the crypt, where both of Hydrick's assassins hid for the amount of time they had left, they were discovered here, unfortunately, and they had a huge gunfight out the one window in the crypt. Right up here. As you can see, there is damage from the gunfight. Realizing that their situation was hopeless, both assassins committed suicide in this crypt. In order for the Nazis to enter the crypt, they first had to remove this huge stone right here that was blocking the entrance. Once they removed this stone, they found this staircase down here. And once they got down the staircase, they came in to finish the job. The assassins of Hydric entered the crypt by using this secret entrance up on the ceiling. That's how they were able to get in through the church. And that's how no one was able to realize until it was too late that they were actually down here. Let me just show you once again the, uh, the damage from the firefight between the SS and the assassins. After the war, Karl Kurda, the Czech who told the Nazis where to find Kubish and Gabčík, was hanged for high treason. The street where the assassination took place was proudly renamed Kubisova Street, and the next block over, Gabčík Street. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour. It's one of those lesser known places in Prague, but well worth it. Stay tuned and find out where we go next.